What's going on guys? Uh, quick uh, rundown and uh, well, might not end up being as quick as I want, but uh, just a quick uh, little bit of a deep dive into um, form three of the minor pentatonic scale and why I really like it and what we can do with it and things we can add to it. So let's just get into it here. We're going to do it in the key of E, okay? So in the key of E, your form three on your minor pentatonic is going to start on your A note, which is your fifth your low E string, it's your fifth fret, okay? So we're gonna go five, seven, and then on your A string, five, seven, and then same thing on your D, five, seven. Then you're gonna go four, seven on your uh, G string, five, eight on your B, five, seven on your high E, okay? Now, the first thing I wanna throw into here, throw into this before I get into like, reasons why I, I, I like using this position a lot um, is some notes you can add to it to kind of spice it up and I've gone over this in other videos but I really like to add the minor to major third into the minor pentatonic the major sixth into the minor pentatonic um, by adding these notes into it you can use the minor pentatonic over more dominant and major chords um, and in more like mixolydian and other applications and jams that um that you can still think out of those boxes that our mind is used to with the minor pentatonic but get other sounds out, out of them okay so let's start here on your low a on your low e string okay so right away that five seven that we have we have the flat five on your sixth on your sixth fret there on your low e right okay so right off the bat right up there that it right right here in riff town right and right here i call this riff town because if you're gonna you know if you're gonna like vamp on that chord you're probably most likely to come up with like a riff you're most likely going to kind of base it out of this area of the f neck unless you're trying to get cute with it right so uh, whatever but um point being is i call it i like to call it right here in riff town you got got that flat five you also have your six right here right so what would usually on your a string just be five to seven dip that down to four and you've got your major six love it right so immediately access to kind of a little bit different sound there now we get down on our next string five seven again right once again we can add another note if we go from five to six we are now going from the minor to the major third and of course you have your root right there so right so you got that move right here you can already see right why i love using this part of the uh, this form of the minor pentatonic because there's a lot just because of the way the intervals fall in this position there's just kind of a lot that you can do to, to color it right so i mean not that you can't you can do this in all the positions it's just going to sound a little different because of what strings those intervals are going to fall on where they are in the octave all that stuff right so um i just personally like the flavor of this one um so um on your next string which you would really usually have the four four to seven right so once again we have something we can add four six seven because we have the major six note again your octave that d flat right right here so so then down here on your uh b string you have five to uh five to eight uh, this is kind of the one place in here that you don't unless you want to start this is the only string that you don't really have a color note i mean you could use uh maybe the two if you want to which would be on your uh your your seventh fret or you can go uh major major to minor third if you go up but you're getting out of position so we're just trying to stay in this position right so then on your last string on your high e five to seven and just like on your low e right uh you have the same thing your flat five right here
right there on six to five. Or six to seven if you want to go up from your flat five. A little more common to go down from flat five to four, but whatever. Okay, so um, those are kind of my extra color tones, so to say. I just use my ear to judge when they're appropriate, when they're not. Um, I probably don't nail that 100% of the time, as none of us do, right? We just try our best. Um, so, uh, you know, as far as a, a couple other things I really like about this scale, um, let's start out with the fact that, you know, you always have your minor bar chord right here, and it's the, the position that's, like, right behind it. So, like I said, you have these kind of, you know, riffs that are, like, on your lower strings that you can build into it catch the chord like right here in the same position so I really like that um, I really like that these first three strings and your high E are all the same pattern so I mean right off the bat you have kind of another box kind of like your position one that has such easy symmetry to remember in your mind that it makes it really easy to use and accessible and you can play a little more freely out of it and that's why we all love position one right um, and then um, I really like to where the roots fall in this position so you get it on your A string here so you can get your little minor to major third on your D and, and get back to A. I really love it here. It falls on your B string too and I, I really love it here because you can kind of you can kind of always come back to it and get back home and it's, it's right there on your B string which is uh, to me I just love the B it's not your highest string but it's almost like if you want that kind of uh, cutting sound or register if you want to be in that spot but not ice picky I feel like the B string is the my favorite string for that so I love that the root is right there I mean of course I mean I'm being kind of I mean, I'm being kind of silly. That's technically the same note, right, as your open high E. I just, I just like that it's there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. Those are just a few things about this chord, this scale form that I really love. Uh, the third scale form here of your minor pentatonic, or if you want to view it as your, um, you could view it as your form two of your major pe pentatonic, right? Because you have your, you would have your major pentatonic right here so if you want to think of it as form two of major or form three of minor however you want to view it um but yeah that's the really the gist of it and of course if you guys have any other uh questions or or uh comments let you know comment down below um please like subscribe and share much love to y'all keep on picking keep on practicing um much love to y'all i'll see you guys on the flip later